certainly hope that one day, Austin experiences genuine remorse for the way he treats his parents. But his parents weren't the only victims of his rage, far from it. I've mentioned it many times already, but there's really no overplaying the amount of damage he does to his living space due to his losses. These are really funny, obviously, but when you realize this is a real person actually getting this furious pretty much every single day, you wonder how this man's heart hasn't blown up from all the stress. He stayed awake gambling on stream for days straight, destroying his bedroom, bank account, and psyche nonstop. You might have noticed that in many of the clips we've played so far, the boss man's room has no door, resorting to a towel draped over the doorway to separate his gambling headquarters from the rest of the house. Though that clearly does nothing to prevent his parents from hearing him scream and argue with chat. He destroys his door so often that it can be used as a makeshift sanity meter, and the closer it is to being completely gone, the closer he is to becoming a feral ghoul from Fallout. For avid viewers, this is known as Bossman Jack's door lore. Fans tracked as his daily losses would cause Austin to progressively destroy the wall and door in fits of rage. I'll clean it all up! Dad! I'll clean it up! I'll clean it up! He eventually bought a new one at the hardware store, but neglected to install it in like favor of smashing his keyboard against his head and screaming at his mom. Finally, his fans got so fed up with the dismal background that one of them donated $50 desperately trying to make him install it, only for him to find out he needed to get new hinges with the door and could not just attach it to the wall. He never ended up installing the new door. Now, he's employed the ancient Yakubian technique of putting the door in front of the hole in the drywall, replacing the towel he used to have nailed there. People began pointing out that his room looked like that this of someone sucks. with a hard drug this addiction, sucks. and they couldn't really be any more sucks. right. It's been established that Austin's addictive tendencies go far beyond just online gambling. We've already mentioned how his addiction to Xanax was the primary cause of his criminal past, and at one point he was stealing his dad's coin collection to buy K2 Spice. During his streams, he can be seen constantly vaping and smoking weed through a $600 bong, occasionally celebrating when he happens upon a forsaken nug. A horror user who claims to be a longtime fan of Austin alleged some interesting new lore. He claimed that when Jack was having late night well, gambling like sessions on stream and stayed up, he would regularly make phone back, calls to a man don't named get our choices, Christmas, man. who would then bring coke to his house. One of Austin's mods admitted to sending cash app money to Derek Christmas for Austin in exchange for crypto. Forum users then deduced that this Derek was likely the same Derek who got caught in 2008 with 19 grams of crack. When his home was searched, his infant children were living in horrible conditions <laughs> and even tested positive for the substance. He was charged with felony child neglect and sentenced to three years in prison. Not only was Derek a drug dealer, which is ethically questionable in and of itself, but he was completely neglecting his children to the point where, somehow, they had crack in their Shit. system. This is the worst kind of person, Shit. and many suspect Austin is in direct contact with him. A Discord call leaked wherein someone was purchasing substances for Austin and sending money through Cash App to Derek. In the call, Austin says Derek is a big connected dealer who had spent most of his life in prison, indicating with some low level of certainty to forum users that this was their guy. To further confirm the boss man crack suspicions, another leak showed Austin outright admitting that not only had he already smoked crack, but continued to do so as a habit, and even had been blackmailed with secret recordings in the past, which prompted <laughs> users to dig up more info. Allegedly, during the RuneScape days, Austin admitted he was a daily user for six months straight, but as of this clip, he had also apparently only been clean for three days. People also picked up on Austin's strange twitching while live and speculated this was due to drug abuse. Of course, streamers Mm -hmm. When he wins, people figured it out. He became less paranoid about leaks and hiding his drug habit, and basically just accepted it as part of his identity. Again, we have to contextualize that this guy is someone who came dangerously close to being a felon and lives with his parents, which I'm guessing is why he was so nervous about this becoming public knowledge in the first place. He actually began leaning onto it as part of his identity, almost as if he took pride in it or found it funny. I smell crack like a motherfucker, dude. While he's passionate about his za and a fiend for the crack, he's tried a few other drugs as well. You fuck with meth? Not really. I mean, it made me feel pretty good. I sniffed.
Rumble Max. But while the boss man likes to switch things up every once in a while, he is, as the youth say, in love with the Coco. Once, while he was streaming, he had some serious luck and won a few thousand dollars. Naturally, his reaction was to call up his plug, but before Derek even arrived, Austin had already lost all of the money he intended to spend on the drugs. Oh my god, I just I have to call him back again. I have to fucking call him back again, dude. Never mind, man. Don't come out. I don't have enough anymore. A forum user speculated he's doing cocaine rather than crack, since the latter makes you pick at your skin more, and there wasn't evidence he had scabs on his arms or anything like that. They did notice, however, that he used to be fatter when he was young and lost weight over time, despite definitely not improving his diet or being an active person. This meant that he probably used to only smoke weed and eventually added cocaine to his repertoire, causing the weight loss. The drug reveal also explained his fits of rage and extremely emotional reactions, as well as the delusions of grandeur and the story about going to the psych ward. To be specific, these aren't necessarily caused by the drug use itself, but most likely have to do with entering abstinence since it's known to make people very volatile. After Austin's hair had grown out a little from the last shave, one of his viewers would call in the chat for a fresh shaving. Austin said he would do it for 150 subs or around 750 bucks. A viewer named Signal Boot sent him 200 subs and Austin shaved his head. Well, not really. In a bizarre development, it barely made a difference, and Signal Boot expressed his disappointment, demanding Boss Man actually shave his head. Austin then argued with him that he followed the agreed terms to someone who just gave him $100 to shave his head, immediately ending the stream after this. Signal was the number one sub at the time, having given Austin almost $10,000 in that month alone. It's wild that you're trying to renegotiate after you drop me the fucking subs, bro. That's what's wild. I literally, someone clip it, bro. I literally said like four times I'll do a a two for another hundred or i'll do a or I'll, whatever i said for 50 and you did a hundred so i did a two yeah i'm gonna get off that got really quiet here you guys Another frequent donor named Fat Hacker, who gave Austin over $4,000 in juicers, trolled him by asking, are you ready for the biggest juicer of your life, only to give him nothing afterward. Austin got so upset by this that he ended the stream and proceeded to threaten his own life. Finally, Fat Hacker told him he was just kidding and was about to send it, only to say psych again. The chat's reaction is almost exclusively praising Fat Hacker and laughing at Austin, further demonstrating that his audience truly takes pleasure in seeing him humiliated. Eventually, Austin got banned after constantly pestering a steak hostess for bonuses daily. He was given a two-day exclusion from the platform for what the hostess described as impatience and high levels of stress during play. Normal people would think this would be the best thing to ever happen to Austin, giving him time to reflect on his less than frugal activities. Rest assured, however, that Austin refuses to change even in the face of the consequences of his behavior because as soon as he got back on stake, people watched him lose everything and destroy his surroundings again. Oh my god! Besides his parents, his audience, and his household items, Austin also targeted other streamers. For example, Yasuo was once one of the most promising League of Legends streamers in the world. He started streaming in 2015 and showed a very high level of skill in the game, attracting many viewers who came for his frequent takedowns of entire teams all by himself. He even beefed with one of, if not the most notorious LOL streamer, Tyler1, solidifying himself as part of the community. Eventually, he landed a spot on the esports organization 100 Thieves, but to many fans' dismay, he gradually lost interest interest in the game and started doing other things. Because of that, he lost a significant chunk of his viewership and would frequently rage at the chat for spamming Play League. Anger problems, a burning hatred for the audience, what else could Yasuo have in common with our hero boss man Jack? You guessed it, the hots for the slots, literally. Yasuo pivoted to gambling, which the fans very expressively hated, until YouTube banned both of his channels due to the promotion of gambling. I will say, he never outright promoted gambling and only used the sites which technically didn't violate the guidelines, but regardless, once the ban happened, he moved to kick. Austin appeared in the chat on Yasuo's stream where he accused him of using fake money on his bets. Yasuo, who claimed to be a hate watcher rather than a fan of Austin, would challenge the Rat King himself to a debate. Yasuo called him a crackhead, a completely fair insult given what we've learned so far, prompting Austin to baselessly accuse him of viewbotting his streams, which was met with little else besides laughter. Yasuo proceeded to prove his transactions on stake on stream while calling Austin a scamming tweaker with no real fans and only trolls and hate watchers. This sent Bossman into a frenzy speaking very fast and acting erratic. You know, hey, listen, you might not like me, but I wish nothing but the best. I don't... <laughs> yeah.
I feel like this dude, this dude could be like, I feel like sword after could be like this guy. You can call me sometime, right? Like, you have a great accent. You have a good voice. Your English is good. Um, I was still. Hola.